Bat Sim already shows 16 of us on the ground. That's a good start. Let's see if that number goes up. I'm just going to assume I'm not going to hit them in taxi. I am about to be inside said CRJ right now. I'm on the taxiway. Am I, did I miss you? Good. guys file uh, VFR flight plans from uh, Mustang to Galveston. But get him sign to fly, Brian. Yeah, I'm glad I'm here. Oh, what did you end up sign to fly, sorry. Oh, what? I'm in a booty. Oh, so you're going to be towards the, you can just go pull yeah. fine brand if you want and be number two. Feel free to just pull up behind Brand B number two in the line. I'll do that. Middle of the pack. Okay. Towards the end of the line. Slower pair craft like that, you're going to want to be towards the rear. The line will be made after the briefing, but you'll probably just want to hang out on the ramp for a little while, because if you're going to be towards the end of the line and assess them like that, Malcolm, it's, you're probably going to be waiting like 45 minutes to an hour to even take off. You're going to need some patience today. Patience indeed. And I'll be covered in the briefing in about 15 minutes. But yeah, the faster guys can expect to go pretty quick, and the guys that are planning on flying the slower stuff, like the Cubs or the 152s or the 172s, are going to have to have a little bit of patience today and hang towards the rear. Just kind of enjoy the show until then. 
Kodiak would be towards the front. No, it's not well, no jets today. Props only. Good to see everybody. If you want to fly a Kodiak, that would put you towards the front, Malcolm. Happy Sunday. You can hear our virtual USA Flying Club director, Mike Sonante, kind of getting some things sorted out here. It's hey, the Coastline Sir, Conga event. Uh, do you see the aircraft to the right of you? We're on the beach yes. here. It's also a CRJ at, for uh, me. Are they blocking the taxiway? Mustang no, Beach in Arkansas. Right on line up Cargo oh. the real gamer. Okay. Um, oh. Let me see. One I haven't used here. Um, I always knock on the refrigerator door. Just in case there's salad dressing. No, it's going to be all on the same line. They're going to be in their own Discord, but uh, Welcome, everyone's going to be in the, in nice the to same see you, man. lineup. And uh, I'm going to be the one controlling everything on Unicom. <laughs> Skull, buddy. You'll be at ATC when you're landing in Galveston. We have a flying club member that's going to be on the tower at Galveston that's going to be guiding us in. Yep. It's going to be Ryan. Here we go, you guys. Um, so the Postline Conga. Uh, Ryan O'Keefe. We're going to start down here again in uh, Arkansas Beach and head up the coastline here basically to the northeast. Okay, he's the oh, I just. Uh, of Houston. I just filed this That's why thing. I'm using him as the tower at Galveston. I just filed this thing backwards, I just realized. Um, yeah, holy moly. No, but I'm, um, X Cub 275, Juliet, CL, over here, Chuck. I'm clear. Anyway, uh, heading up the uh, coastline here to the northeast and going to end up at Galveston. We're going to fly. Uh, BFR 3500 and just, yeah, just kind of make our way up here. The goal today is to see if we can make the longest VFR conga line in VATSIM history for general aviation. And we are hoping uh, to get lots of virtual USA Flying Club members. And um, at some point, I don't know if this is still a thing, but at some point I did hear mention that maybe the pilot club guys we're also going to try to get in here just uh just so we could just get a lot of aircraft going and so um yeah i mean we'll see we'll see how it goes so i've been tasked with leading this <laughs> conga line so we'll see how that goes but uh yeah departing runway uh one two so, so we'll be um, right now I basically heading out to, like, um like runway heading yeah it's just bad model matching. And just you know, we don't have anything crazy okay, going on. We're just going to be um, just going to be buzzing right up the coastline here, and looking for um, a couple different things here. We're going to be we're going to be looking for like little little places like uh, like Port O'Connor, and then you know um, there's another spot up here. Uh, yeah, right in here where there's uh, I don't remember what this port's called, but uh, Galveston Bay, and I mean all those little, all these little things along the way. We're gonna try to pick up as we can. Um, since I am leading this, I am going to set some things up in yeah, my. Yeah, Malcolm, you know, the, um, we're we're starting the briefing in ten minutes, so we're not going until then. So I'm gonna set some things buddy. up in my uh, in my FMC. So a little bit of uh, a little bit of of a cheat, but um, like I don't wanna I don't wanna screw this up, so. So, Mike, you explained to you I rebuild ortho in a new drive or using uh, MS? Oh, I'm using Microsoft Flight Sim. I am putting X Plane to the side for now until I can either get a new external hard drive or figure out what's going on with the one I currently have. That is a sad situation. For sure. Aeroflyer, hey, what's happening, man? Nice to see you. Happy Sunday. Seven four seven, clean up the slides. 
Ah, Buckery. Hello. Aeroflyer. I'm flying the Kodiak. The Thranda Kodiak 100. And it does have a nice uh, G1000. Look at that baby blue. And we've got our friend uh, Eric Beaver. 524 Echo Alpha. Nice to see you as well. Right, let's get back a little bit so we're not quite so uh, loud here. So yeah, gateway scenery here, unfortunately, and uh, it it doesn't look doesn't look too bad up close, but it gets a little bit cringe worthy when you step away from it. Um, once we get flying, though, it'll look nice. I've I've flown up and down this area before, and I've got some some nice nice ortho, and it's definitely um, it's it's definitely a oh. Um, just an area that is unique to me because I'm not, you know, I live in the mountains in Wyoming. I don't live along the coastline, so this will be kind of kind of fun. But um, yeah, let's see. Winds are currently one six zero at, I'm sorry, one five zero at uh, fifteen. So yeah, runway one two departure. We're gonna take the um, we're gonna take the intersection departure. Here's one two. Uh, we're gonna, so we're going to take kind of the last third of the runway, which will actually be plenty for us. I had originally thought about flying the SR-22, but it was a little bit of, a, of an ask to try to get it off the runway there in whatever, a 1,000 feet. It won't be a problem for the Kodiak. But, uh, yeah, so that's why I changed. Plus, uh, I want to have the high wing and something. I needed something fairly quick, so that's that, it made my choice for me. But um, great to see you guys. Great to see you. Hello, Mina. Hello, Iowa Scotsman. Great to see you. Happy Sunday. I'm going to open the giveaway up again. Guys, if you were here yesterday, you had a couple chances to get some raffle tickets. I do have a $25 gift card up for grabs and... All you have to do is type exclamation point November. Here's Pentagon. There's our friend Rob, a.k.a. Pentagon. Hello. So, yeah, type exclamation point November, and I'll get you a, I will get you a, um, I will get you a ticket. You do have to be a follower in order to get a ticket. Uh, Cargo, the real gamer, let me see. You are a fairly new follower, if I'm not mistaken. You're a follower, right? I believe you are. So I might have to put you in manually here. Hang on for a second. I will uh, I will do that. I will do that. So let's see. We are 11, or we're 10, 16 here. And... Okay, you are in there manually, just so you, just so you know. I... I I will get you in there. It's yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know what's going on with this this uh, giveaway bot. Like, I don't know why it costs tickets. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna do. Oh, hold on for a second here. Hold on for a second. All right, hang on for a second. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna try something real fast. Uh, so I've got Pentagon and I've got um, I've got Pentagon and Arrow Flyer. Let me give you. Let me give you tickets. Pentagon gets two tickets because he's also a an ascriber. Um, all right, Aeroflyer, Pentagon, you're in. I'm going to do this. I'm going to reset this, and I want to go. I'm going to take that off. All right. All right. I'm going to open it again, and. Just, just out of curiosity, cargo. Type, type exclamation point November and see what happens this time. Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. I think I, I've got that squared away. So good deal. Good deal. Cargo, you got your ticket, man. Iowa Scotsman, you've got your ticket. Yeah. This will be the giveaway. Will be on the twelfth of November. It's uh, right after the great JFK Saturday Night Ops. So you don't have to be present to win, but if you're there, 
you have a chance again the more the more you watch the more you have a chance to play and get tickets and all that good stuff so appreciate you guys playing along and thanks for your support that's uh, those those uh, donations and cheer bits and and ascriptions and all that stuff that you guys do and is uh, that's what funds my my giveaways and uh, so I'm happy to give back as much as I as much as I can. It's been a little crazy. I've been almost able to do one per month. I'm kind of getting to that point here, and uh, but with uh, with my last couple of months being so sort of crazy, I was not able to. But here in a little bit. Uh -oh. Here in a little bit, I'll be back to a normal. Um, Mike, uh, you're hot, Mike, and you might be voice activated. Yep, I hear somebody hot mic and also on the on the com. Yeah, yeah, Beaver. Um, it's uh. Brady on the ground, a Mustang. Welcome to the event. Going to be starting the briefing in the Virtus A Flying Club Discord in about four minutes. Those aircraft that are faster, if you're flying like a Kodiak or a Mooney or a Cirrus, if you guys want to start lining up into the line, you're welcome to do so. But uh, the guy that is holding short currently at the hold short line will be the one that leads the conga line. Oh, boy. And I will be doing the minute 30 second separation no pressure. verbally here, so make sure you guys are listening up on the Unicom. Be ready to go when it's your turn. I don't Again, think I've ever led one of these things. Stuff. If you're like in a Mooney or a Cirrus or a Kodiak, you guys can go ahead and start making your way towards the front of the line. Yeah, so what Eric is talking about is there's um, there's some closed airstrips along the way here. Um, Matagora, this is a big one right here. I mean, holy moly, like six runways. Kind of cool. Then there's some uh, just just it's just a neat place to fly when when you are used to bush flying in the in the mountains, like coming down to the coastline and flying. It's super unique and super interesting to me anyway. Um, hopefully it'll be interesting to you guys as well. Hopefully everything will, will uh, perform like it should and and uh, we'll enjoy a, a flight. It, it's not actually going to be a super long flight in the Kodiak. It's probably going to be only about um, you know 45 minutes or so. But uh, it'll be fun nonetheless. Let's see. Getting everything set up here in my in my flight plan. All right, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you look at it, I mean, like there's some there's some potential, uh, you know, there's some potential airspace issues if you end up going. Uh, the wrong way here towards Corpus Christi. Of course, there's a there's a Charlie there, um, and then if you wander too far in inside here, you get to that Houston airspace. But um, honestly, the only the only thing like like we're we're departing uncontrolled for a reason. I mean, um, and then we should be able to steer clear of everything until we get up here to uh, Galveston, and then that's a that's obviously a Delta. They will they right now look like uh, ones one zero zero eight. So, you know, a anticipating, um, well, what would we be anticipating here? Maybe runway one four. Um, yeah, we'll be ready for anything. And the, uh, the controller did give us a heads up with so much traffic that there's a potential that we could be put on a left or a right hand pattern just to, uh, just to spread things out. But if we hit 1-4, our, our goal will be to try to get off on Delta here just so that we can make sure that we uh, you know, don't hold anybody up. Same thing with 1-8, if that's indeed where we land. Um, they may bring us in. I don't know. It, it, just, it just depends. 1-4 is probably the, uh, the one that makes sense, I guess. But, yeah. Yeah, Aeroflyer, I'm looking forward all to right, it. All right, it is 3 o'clock on the dot on the East Coast. Let's go ahead and get this briefing started. First of all, thanks for coming in today, everyone that's participating. 
whether you're with the Virtue Safe Flying Club or if you're watching through my stream over at the Pilot Club. So there's a joint event between the Virtue Safe Flying Club and the Pilot Club to this afternoon, I should say, this Sunday afternoon for the General Aviation Conga Line. Pretty simple stuff today. We're going to be departing out of Mustang Beach. We're going to be departing off of runway 12. As soon as you take off, you'll be able to see the shoreline and you can turn left over the shoreline once you get there and you're just going to follow the shoreline all the way to Galveston, Texas. All right, you're not going to go GPS direct because that will kind of cut over some of the mainland here. The idea here is that you want to take off out of Mustang Beach, fly to the shoreline, make the left turn, and you're going to make the small little turns kind of follow the coastline. It doesn't have to be inch perfect, but, you know, just kind of follow the coastline as your guide up all the way to the northeast there until you get to Galveston. Galveston is a class delta. It is towered by Virtue Safe Flying Club member Ryan O'Keefe. He's going to be handling us in, so he will take good care of us on the back end. But on the front end, it's my show. I'm going to be the one working on Unicom to kind of get the flow out of here. Uh, the faster aircraft are going to be the ones that are going to depart first, hopefully. So those that are flying like the Kodiaks or the Moonies or the Cirruses are definitely going to be the ones that want to be on the front of the line. If you're flying like a Seminole or in <laughs> Joshua's case, the DC-3 or something that does, or a Bonanza, something that does like 140 knots cruise speed, then you're going to want to be towards like the middle of the line. And then if you're flying like a 152 or a 172 or Piper Cub or something pretty slow like that, definitely going to want to lag back towards the end of the line and i'm going to be bringing up the caboose in my 172 once everyone else gets off the ground uh brant is going to be taking the lead here in the kodiak he's going to be flying it as fast as he can going over to galveston the idea is we want to kind of take off and stay in line we really don't want anyone kind of passing each other we want to kind of keep it a conga line you stay behind the person that's in front of you uh, everything like that. Is it going to be perfect? I don't expect perfection. Josh, there what's going to be on, some man? people that are a little bit faster, slower for whatever reason. Yes. Uh, just be safe. Don't crash into anyone um, on your way to Galveston and make sure you're following the ATC instructions once you get over to the class Delta. Now remember, because Galveston is a class Delta, you need to make your call to him prior to entering the class Delta. So you want to try and call at least 10 to 15 miles out of Galveston to make your initial contact for the class Delta. The tower controller has instructed me that there are going to be some people that join the right downwind, and he's also going to instruct some people to fly over the midfield to join the left downwind. So make sure you're listening carefully to the instructions and follow those instructions for the class Delta when you get over to Galveston. All right, but the simple thing is you're going to take off out of here. Once it's your time to go, follow the coastline and head on up there. Now, for the Virtue Safe Flying Club members, once you complete the flight, uh, you're going to make sure you go into the Conga Line event channel that I've created, the temporary channel. And once you complete your flight, put the required information in that channel. That's going to do two things. One, it's going to help me get a good count for the event. And two, it's also going to be your way to enter in for the drawings for the prizes as well. And I know that the, the Pilot Club is doing its own giveaways for prizes. Uh, they're going to be handling it on their end. So if you're watching through the stream, you can listen to Paul. He's going to kind of give you an idea of what's going on with that over there. Um, some big notes. Again, I'm going to be on the Unicom. You're going to hear my voice. You guys should all know my voice, at least in this Discord by now. I'm going to be di dictating the departures out of Mustang. So it is a little bit of a displaced uh, uh, start here. If you notice the taxiway um doesn't go all the way to the end of runway one two it's a very shortened runway if right off the ramp here for where that taxiway goes so uh if you do need to back taxi that's fine because i will have the first aircraft launch and then i'll have the next aircraft line up and then i'll tell that next aircraft when they can depart and so on and so on so if you can do it from the intersection that's great if you need the full length and want to back taxi that's fine whatever you need to do if plenty of time to do all that in the minute and 30 seconds between each departure and we'll kind of just kind of take it as it comes at that point uh, make sure you guys are filing vfr flight plans i want to see that you file the flight plan on vatsim so it should be a vfr filing from kilo romeo alpha sierra to kilo gulf lima sierra so double check the flight plans make sure you got that filed correctly if you haven't already filed a vfr flight plan please do so that is uh, going to help our buddy ryan a lot once we get over towards uh, Galveston so he knows what type of aircraft that you're flying in so please if you haven't done that already make sure you do that um, as well um, Unicom the whole way until we get to Galveston that's the only towered 
we're going to be dealing with is over the class delta so again 10 to 15 miles prior to getting into the delta make sure you're giving him that call so you, he can kind of start getting you set up for how he wants you in whether it's going to be the right downwind for one four or over flying the field for the left downwind for one four weather's good should nobody should have to adjust their sims everyone should be using real world weather it's great weather for this couldn't have asked for any better other than all of that is there any questions I think we're good. Now is the time for the questions, if you have any. Yeah, Beaver, those old Air Force, uh, those old military Prefer base military fields are so awesome. Um, That's a good question, actually. I would say 1,500 feet. Let's try and all go 1,500 feet. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is, uh, it, that doesn't need to be, you know, the standard. If you want to do 2,500, that's fine. Um, I don't really need to go any higher than 2,500, but anywhere between 1,000 and 2,500 feet is fine up the coastline there. We can any do other that. questions? We can do that. Let, let go. <laughs> All right, Brant, you can start the line. You can go ahead and depart. I'm going to do the rest of it on Unicom, guys. Do you have any questions between now and then? Let me know. But otherwise, wait for the instructions on Unicom. That's where I'm going to be doing this. Mustang Beach traffic, Kodiak, November 11816 is departing runway 12 at the intersection. Mustang Beach. That sounded so professional. <laughs> my, uh, my power lever is reversed. Six two four kilo popper lining up, runway one two behind the aircraft ahead. What the hell? Me. I'm not as professional. What is going on? Um, well, Brant's a tough act to follow. Once again, if you guys are flying a fast aircraft, you're gonna want to try and get towards the front of the line here. If you're in the middle of the pack, you can also probably start lining up at this point as well. If you're flying slower aircraft, you guys can hang in the ramp for a little bit and get towards. I'm the having line. an issue here, like a big issue. Like for some reason, my throttle is not responding correctly. We're gonna just do it that way. We're gonna get going here. That was interesting. Malcolm, make sure you fly a VFR flight plan, buddy. This baby does climb. <laughs> Mustang Beach traffic, Kodiak 816 is turning a left crosswind up the shoreline. Last call. Timer's been started, so uh, I'll let you know when to go, Brian. All right. I feel like I feel like something strange is going on here with my throttle, obviously. So we'll just Kilo do a little of that while we uh, try to get it figured out here, guys. Trim is working correctly, but yeah, that's really strange. Okay, I'm going to put it on autopilot. Let's go heading. Let's capture the uh, altitude. My call sign is Golf Lima Sierra Romeo. Oh. Get the flaps up here, and let's get motoring. Mike, give me a 20 second warning. 20 second warning. I'm pitching up big time. Why am I pitching up? I'm climbing to, uh, that's right, okay. Help if you make radio call. Must be traffic 96 to 4 kilo pop the party runway uh, 1 2 must be beach. Your standard craft <laughs> can line up. Alright, let's get on this no, here and. Um, Alright, there we go. Right, Free and incorrect. Four, that's, four, right. Four, that's right. That's right. Uh, that's not good, guys. We don't want that. Alright, well, let's get going here. And here's the thing is, I'd like. 
it's going to be it's going to be tough to fix that because I have to go into my my settings and I don't really want to pause because I don't want people catching up to me. So we're going to be just we're going to be working it uh, old school here. <laughs> uh, that's all right. That's the way she goes. I can I can push it forward a little bit. I can bump it up close to the red line. Just try to get myself up. And we've got uh, we've got everything taken care of. I've got the cargo bay off and the wheel pants on, baby. So we are ready. We're rocking and going, rocking and rolling. And there is Mustang Beach on our way out. It it did change, Beaver, but. Um, what didn't change is I wasn't able to uh, get it up and over the gate. I'll let you know. Like it felt like it wanted to stay in beta range. And I'm not sure why. So that's about all we're going to be able to squeeze out of this lemon. Um, we're doing 180 true, about 173 indicated, right up the shore. Let's, uh, yeah, boy, Aeroflyer, what a bluebird day, man, clearing a million. This, point now. this is awesome, this is awesome. And there is approach on 120 decibel niner, that's Corpus Christi approach, that's not where we're heading, but, um, San Jose Airport right underneath me. Oh, nice. I should have I should have made a call. I should have made a call. I need to do better at that, guys. I should have made a little uh a little trick. I I'm going to try to keep it somewhat to a minimum just because we have so many so many airplanes going. But I uh, probably should have made a transition call since I'm only at 1300 feet. The Nordo, yep. Oh, that's okay, okay. And um, cargo, I guess, uh, as to your question, like uh, we're trying to make the, the real life Unicom calls as much as we can. Oh, I have a, I have a little uh, scenery issue here. Look, here's where the ortho scenery is, and here's where the default scenery. You can see the line here. I'm also pitching up and down slightly because I am. Probably trying to go a little too fast. This plane, if you if you get up a little too quick, it tends to kind of want to do that little bit of porpoising and. None of them have radio frequencies. Okay. Actually, you know what? You're right. You are right. Next aircraft come on up. I go B4, just have to turn right, body up. All right, you guys. Well, I tell you, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do this. I'm really happy it's worked out. going to be going to be one of those rare triple stream weekends I, it's uh it's pretty cool that doesn't happen very often but everything is kind of falling into place here and we'll be able to see some of our some of our friends here following behind us this has a, still a really nice aviation suite it's a bit dated now but I remember. Now Brent, you know you have an important part here too because you're going to have to probably be the first person that posts the correct information in that conga line channel. Jeez, uh, you're really putting a lot of responsibility on me for a Sunday, Mike. Yeah, well, I, you, I know you can handle it. All right, I'll go over and double check what that says and make sure I get some info down. All right, what what do I need to do here? 
Conga Line Channel. And I'm giving you a behind the scenes look here at our virtual USA Flying Club. So, for those flying, call sign, time of arrival, prizes. All right, and then, um, yeah, okay, all right. Make sure to read the message above. Okay. All right. Plan to fly slower. Yep. Okay. Good deal. All right. So we got to just, I guess, just make sure we get our, our info in there. I think that's the main thing, just so that we can uh, maybe set an exemplar, as it were. All right. We're chilling out here a little bit. Let me, let me put a little bit more juice into it. Let's see if we can get our airspeed back up. We've kind of slipped down to about the mid 160. I'd like to be close to 180 if I could. You know, I've got a Mooney behind me and I don't want him to have to be waiting on me. But uh, here's what we're hoping to get, you guys. Oh, gosh. Um, KR, KGLS. Let me get this in there. Um... Also, make sure you guys get screenshots, please, for the Flights and Picks channel. And Here's what we're hoping to get is just a nice long string here all the way up, all the way up. We'll check that out as, as we go. Yeah. And that model matching is for them. would not want any of my screenshots. Yeah, it's probably going to be better for the x one guys. I really need to get myself a better way to take a screenshot. I know there's some tools out there that that do it. I've just been lazy. <laughs> I've just been lazy. I just need to take a look and see what would what would help. But uh, yeah, this is pretty pretty good ortho. I think you know, it's. I get the sense that this is a bit of a marshy sort of uh, wetlands type of area you know and uh like i've i've been to galveston one time in my life got the worst sunburn i've ever had enjoyed the beach absolutely enjoyed the beach enjoyed the seafood that we had and uh but didn't love the <laughs> did not love the sunburn that was no bueno all right, how are we doing here? Um, now we're back up kind of where we need to be. That'll work. That'll work. A little 10 knot crosswind there coming off the ocean. The one thing I noticed about the about the uh, Gulf of Mexico is, at least at Galveston, is uh, that the water was like really murky. And apparently it like that's pretty common for that area. It's uh, one of those places where the the sand is just turned up kind of continuously but pretty cool to see some some big cargo ships and and uh, cruise ships out there and it was the first time my wife had ever seen the ocean so she was pumped up first time my kids had ever been to the ocean so i was happy to be able to do that that was that was pretty pretty awesome Oh, we've got the Arkansas National Wildlife Refuge open, or, or airport, but it's that's uh, been closed. I wonder if we can see it. I hope I didn't pass over it, Eric. Thanks for pointing these out, by the way. I, I think I must have, uh, did I pass it? Okay, all right. I'll try to, try to do better here at paying attention to uh, what I'm doing. Um... I'm a little afraid to do this here. Yeah, see, as soon as I... 
as soon as I even nudge my my uh, throttle, it comes all the way back into idle range. And uh, well, this will make the <laughs> this will make the inter the uh, approach and landing a little bit more interesting, won't it? Oh man, yeah, it, Eric, it was just like, there's just no relief, right? Like you can't sleep because you can't roll over. I mean, you're just like putting clothes on hurts, taking a shower hurts. It's just like, it's awful. And I felt especially bad because both my kids got it. You know, you, you feel like a bad parent and <laughs> it was, it was awful. It was awful. It, it was the only bad part of an otherwise uh, nice vacation, but. Yeah, definitely learned my lesson, and we put sunscreen on, like like several applications. But uh, you know, when you're in the water like that, man, it just doesn't it just doesn't stay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, then that itching and oh man. Uh, the idea is you want to go all the way to Galveston without the hurting. It's a no stop kind and of event. You, you um, stay in line like and follow the coast. You just feel like the Galveston. heat just radiates off of you. Yeah, it's it's a bad it's a bad deal. Agent Presta, hello. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Josh, that, that runway was a little a little narrow. Did you have to back taxi at all for that sucker, or were you able to get up on the intersection? Mike, Steve Hayes here. I'm in the uh, 206, just on the little hangar ramp uh, to your right. I'll probably try and slip into the line here somewhere after that DC-3. I'll turn on my strobe lights when I'm ready to, to cut in. Okay. wonder what type of wildlife. Probably lots of uh, birds and things like that. Air Force Base, 60 seconds. All right, cool. We'll keep our... Sorry, Eyes peeled. This is uh, today, the abandoned airfield. Wish you join has, us, Mike. Take it or easy. It had, I don't know if it still does, but it had six runways. You can, we'll, we'll just see if we can see it on the way, way by here. Looks like maybe I could see some of it up there. Josh, where were you at in the line? Um, I am at fifth behind right now. Yeah, All right, let look, the uh, there's gonna be a two bad here. that's sitting on the ramp right before the whole short line. Let him go in front of you. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's that. Uh, here's that Air Force base. Old, old military base airfields are awesome. Steve, hello. This is still 11, my man. I'm not ready for the XII quite yet. 
Sounder. How are you, dude? Did you end up streaming last night? I, I checked a couple times, and then the next thing I knew, it was 2 in the morning, I was waking up. I'm like, oh, where am I? You know, one of those deals? <laughs> Who am I? What day is this? Yeah, with all that salt water, you're right. I, I bet it had three feet of concrete. I don't know. I don't know what they, what they would have used. And Sounder, let me know if you wanna, if you wanna Discord and uh, check on like, like this is Chatbot, and. Uh, you got the timers, you got the events. These are the events that I have set up for people that when I want to play like the uh, welcome sounds, right? So you just add, you know, you have to know their, their VAT SIM ID and all that, and you get to put the message in the sound. Um, and then there's other like commands that uh, you can put in, and same deal, you can, uh, you, know, you, you put in any message that you want or the sound file. And once you do a couple of them, you know, it's it's not too bad. But I'm happy to... Uh, oh, you think you've got it? Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, Beaver, it's kind of fun. I mean, like, like I milked my... I, I put my grandson in the sweatshop, you know, the, the Melvin Leroy Recording Studios, as we called it, <laughs> several times. Um, to, to get a few of those. And then, and then of course, you know... I'm I'm borrowing some copywritten material, but as long as you keep it like under six seconds or something like that, you're it's uh, free use. I don't know. I I don't know. But yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been fun to learn that because I'm not really a like I'm not a professional. There's no doubt about that. But um, ooh yeah, if you could do uh, What's up? your own original stuff, man, that's awesome. There's a, a streamer out there called Starflies that she records her own like uh, intro music and she has all these little scene transitions um, and so she's playing her own music there and it's uh, I, I've always thought that would be really cool. Uh, yeah, it's just cool to mess around with it, right? Sam? just have fun, right? That's what that's what it's all about. Just enjoy hanging out with your friends and flying a flying an airplane on a computer and. Yeah, for me, it's just being able to, to hear my little guy talk, you know. I mean, like, he's not around. He's six hours away now. I don't hardly get to see him at all. So um, whenever you guys trigger one of his sounds, man, it means a lot. I appreciate it. Looks like we have another kind of airport here, too, that we're coming up on. What is this one? This is uh, Pierce Field. This is a private strip. And this is uh, currently, it lo looks like it's listed as active. But uh, in real life, is it just a pretty, pretty torn down one? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like maybe Felix, one of the sure runways there. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's, uh, oh, there's something. That doesn't look like it fits the ortho, though. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that 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 runway alignment does not fit the uh, the scenery for sure. Do you still have a little of that next point twelve, by the way, or does the uh, do the uh, do the fields fit the fit the scenery of the photography a little bit better? Uh, like yeah, right get, on top let of the, the uh, guy on the the ramp right near the exit. They're getting in front of you. You're talking me here. You want me in, in front of that DC-3? Or yeah. The newest Google satellite there. photos are showing that. Yeah. John, you also need to... How's it looking, guys? Flight plan. Hey, hey you that's filed looking kind of cool. By accident. That's looking kind of cool. Well, hats off to um, the Virtual USA Flying Club for what the work that... Uh, that Mike Sonate and, and company has done uh, 
in the promotion of GA activity on the Bat Sim Network. It was uh, really something that was sorely underrepresented. And he stepped up, took it upon himself right, to um, to change that. And I think I think we have. I think we've made general aviation uh, you know, a positive component. And we're now at that spot where instead of uh, ATC sort of dreading having some of us in there that they like they reach out to us because they feel like it makes the the uh, experience more realistic and you know um, and so that's I mean kudos again what Mike has set up uh, obviously he's a real world pilot but has had a great vision of what he wanted to create here and has um, uh, the entire club has done a nice job of, of just teaching proper uh, general aviation practice and and uh, yeah it's uh, it's been a lot of fun to be a part of it um, and then on the other side of the coin you know the pilot club I know they're not simply a general aviation club but I know they do a fair amount of that so um, hats off to them as well for uh, for their continued uh, you know growth and and promotion of, of safe practice on VATSIM and, and the contributions that they've also made to general aviation uh, on the VATSIM network. So it's kind of fun to be able to partner with them. I know a lot of our virtual USA Flying Club members are also uh, the Pilot Club members, and they have nothing but good things to say about that organization as well. So uh, anyway, uh, you will see the you will see the invite coming around at some point in time for the virtual USA Flying Club. If you're not a member, we'd love to have you. It's just uh, simply a matter of joining our discord uh, that's it there's no no long-term commitments or anything like that you know you can be as involved as you want to be and um, anyway it'll it'll come around if you have a valid VAT sim id and you're in good standing you uh, can be a part of the club and so what it uh, what the what the um, there's another runway there cool That one is not listed. Oh no, this is uh, this is Matagorda. Matagorda. That looks like it might be a little bit worn down too. That's the unincorporated one there. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, we 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 just we try our best to set up four or sometimes even more general aviation events that uh, take place on BATSIM. We give you all the information that you need to be what able to fly to VFR yeah. or IFR or a combination <laughs> of the two or you know sometimes we try to avoid ATC altogether. We try it's to figure out how to fly field. you know past these big class Bravos and Charlies without talking to ATC and, and then sometimes the we so purposely uh, you know plan events that that uh, give you that opportunity to talk to ATC and become more comfortable in in kind of a like a, a lower key, you know, not non stressful environment. You know, we're not we're not trying to fly into Atlanta on Friday night, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, it's a it's a cool it's a cool little uh, little outfit that that we've built. So yeah. I'm I'm feeling like the fishing around here would be really good, right? I mean, like like it looks to me like you could get in and out and have some fun, and that would be kind of what I'd be interested in. Although I don't know, I've I've never really been deep sea fishing, and I wonder how I would do as as far as like the motion sickness and if it would just end up being like. Uh, like not fun at all. All right, we are coming up on this uh, Matagora area. So I see that we're like uh, like right here. I see this road heading up here. So I put us. Um, that's maybe almost halfway, or pretty close to halfway, I guess, to where we want to be. making making progress it's interesting that um, X America or, or whatever 
This might just be the X-plane default. Puts uh, a little forest here, but doesn't doesn't put it out here. It's it's kind of curious. I'm just wondering again about tree coverage. Um, in X-plane 12, like that doesn't look very good. So hopefully X-plane 12 kind of kind of fixes that. I'm excited to see the new trees, though. I've seen those, heard good things about the new trees. You have a similar thing right where you live. You live on the on the west coast of uh, Australia, right, Sounder? The the Korong, the Kor Korong. just like a like an island chain like those little long skinny islands i bet these places just get the holy living crap beat out of them when the when a hurricane comes by though and the elevation can't be more than five or ten feet above sea level oh you got the sunburn and your family got the seasickness you're South Australia. Okay, okay. I thought I heard a little southern twang in your in your voice there. Sounder? Y'all? Y'all from South Australia? It's gonna be a full time job for me when I retire traveling around the world to visit all you guys. It starts this coming uh, summer. I'm going to be hauling my wife down to Houston for Flight Sim Expo. And I've got her. She's uh, she said she's down. Now, she's got family down there. She's got a sister and nephews and nieces down there. So, like, it's she's not going to be hanging out with me at the uh, convention center. But um, at least she's going. And then if I, if I tell her, hey... I I planned a trip to Australia for a vacation. You know, Sounder, I won't tell her that it's because I'm coming down to see you. I'll just tell her that that's where we're heading. Rob Vockery, you know, I'll tell her that we're going to go see uh, see Lake Erie. We're going to go go see Cleveland, and you know, we'll, we'll just detour by your house. Need to go see Downwind Sim there in St. Louis area. Actually, there's several people in St. Louis area. So yeah. I'm going to be a really broke, retired person. I can tell. <laughs> Should be able to stretch from one point to the other all the way here. On that side. We've worked this baby here. I'll tell you that right now. We're keeping it in the green, though, so... No permanent damage. Hopefully no metal flex or getting in the oil. Here's where I'm guessing that Microsoft Flight Sim probably looks a little nicer because I'm guessing that you're seeing bushes and stuff like that. Um, is there anybody streaming this, flying it in uh, in fussy pants? Let's see here. I don't see anybody. I know Mike uh, JPC is uh, streaming, but I think he's only doing. Um, He's just doing kind of ATC like. I'm looking at his screen though, and I guess I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, vegetation in his as well. So we're getting a little haze layer here. I wonder what I need to do. Was a 
mini goal of the event was for something like that to happen. Whoops, I'm, I'm over speeding again, so there I'm kind of porpoising a little bit here. I want to do this. Let's um, let's take it down. Let's take it down just a bit here. Nose down. Let's go about just about 300 feet a minute. Just try to stay down below this muckety muck, whatever it is. There is that Discord link, by the way. And if you're not um, already watching JPC Jet Pilot Cinnamon, here is his Twitch channel. I uh, I'm not jealous if you watch both of us. I understand. I do the same. If there's thing. anybody in here that isn't already in the line, you can go ahead and get in line. We're pretty much getting towards the back end of the conga line. But he is in. Microsoft Flight Sim, and he'll be flying the Cessna 172. So you will get a good, a good uh, look at what. All right, just make sure you get out before me, John. I want to be the caboose. At what it looks like. That's my plan. I'll be the outside uh, class. Sweet. Yeah, this is just kind of, this is where you know X plane, even with ortho, this is just kind of where it struggles slightly with the vegetation. Um, the the imagery looks really cool. I mean, like you can't fault like like the imagery looks good, you know. But just you you lack the depth, right? When you get a little bit lower, you lack that you lack that uh, that feel of the of the grass and the bushes and the trees. X America has helped somewhat with like neighborhoods like this, giving you buildings and things like that, but. Yeah, still, still, I guess I just hope it's, uh, hope it's something that is improved in X-Plane 12. I bet it's expensive to live along this area. This is probably more touristy beach house type area, isn't it? MSFS color mask to vegetation, yeah, yeah. Steve H. E. Dell, we got to get you streaming, buddy. had a guy this is kind of why you put things in the remarks I just had a guy uh, randomly message me he's flying United 1996 he's like hey I just saw your group flight to Galveston how'd you coordinate <laughs> I'm like well funny you should ask here you go rock Valkyrie yeah I bet it does I bet it does like like I'm okay uh, this doesn't look bad you know my eye has kind of gotten used to this weird tree issue and and not having stuff down here, but uh, but yeah, I I can't explain can't compete with uh, Microsoft Flight Sim when it gets close to the ground. 
somebody's going to have to make a mod, I guess. Because uh, Austin, Austin doesn't seem to think it's important. Wait, I promised I wasn't going to get salty about that anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Rob, you said X Plane 12 with your ortho looks awesome. Okay, that's actually promising. That's actually promising. I bet the water looks really nice. I mean, that's one thing that I've got to give them credit for. For them. Uh, what I've seen is that the water looks really, really good, and the, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, effects of, you know, the the atmospheric effects, things like that. So. That's cool. You have to take a have to take a screenshot there and drop it in my Discord. I know they don't always translate real well, but um, yeah, I'd love to see what it looks like. How's our conga line looking, you guys? Oh, I'm getting close here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Wonder how many we ended up with. Did we have enough to make this up? Uh, no, didn't. Uh, looks like we had 35 departures and one arrival. One dude flew it backwards. 35 departures. That's, that's not bad on a Sunday afternoon. I did some pattern work here earlier. Uh, it got a little better. I only did three. I was trying to shake the dust off of my, uh, my Cirrus. All right, so we are coming up and I'm uh, looking for. There's Galveston Tower. One, two, zero. Twenty decimal five seven five. How far out are we here? Thirty five miles. Okay. Looks like our haze layer has kind of went away. Steve, you like uh, X plane in the, with the mountains and the. Uh, the mesh morphing in... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Handful of planes. Yeah. That's... Well, maybe we'll end up uh, pushing 40. I mean, who knows, right? Who knows? Okay, so I need to figure out, like... Um, kind of see the end here and our in our airport is uh, before we get to the end we have we should have a little okay that's our boy itch itch sorry about that okay guys I want to fly my plane. Hey, uh, Jet, your foot is in my way, dude. The same dog that disconnected my autopilot last time by bumping the trim wheel with his head. has He's sleeping at my feet here. He's got his foot on my rudder pedal, on my right rudder pedal. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> Do you mind, my dude? I know, you're tall. You're very tall. <laughs> he's just laying on his back looking at me. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. What's up? What's up? What's up, doggy? What's up, doggy? <laughs> All right. Let's have some fun here. Um, we are going to... Like, I think what I'm going to try to do here... Gosh, I don't even know. We will definitely stretch end-to-end. -end. Very nice. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's the one. That's right. He got into my settings, and he messed with my throttle. Doggone it. Uh, 
Well, I'm going to do a little check in here at about, uh, yeah, about 20 miles out, maybe, maybe a little bit uh, closer to that, depending on if he's back or not. Back on frequency, I heard. All right, so I'm looking here. I think this is kind of the uh, west inlet coming up. <laughs> and then once we get past this little west inlet, then we are we are pretty well there. Steve, that Skymaster is the funkiest looking plane. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right, so Mike, when I get on the ground, I basically just have to report my my flight information. There's nothing else you're really looking for uh, from me, is there? Other than the flight information and what prizes you want to be eligible for, if you want to be eligible for any. Ah, okay. Thank you. Let's turn off the old flight director. Keep her here at about a thousand. Galveston um, Shoals International is pretty much sea level. So, whoops, so we're at we're at pattern altitude at at a thousand feet roughly. Try to keep it there. It's going to be interesting to do without my without my uh, throttle, without my Bravo throttle. Okay, I think we're heading over that west inlet and then again, the next, uh, the next island is basically Galveston. And we oh, will see the okay, airfield uh, My, uh, up before Cessna we get to the. Just switched out on Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, John, can you uh, start running the uh, calls there? You can. Uh, I'll relay through you. Yep, no problem, Mike. Just let me know what to, when you're ready for me to call. You can tell the aircraft yeah. on the runway to depart. If you just got here or you've uh, been here for a little while and didn't notice, I do have a giveaway going on. If you want to be a part of it, you just have to type exclamation point November and you will earn a raffle ticket into the giveaway that I'll be doing on November 12th, right after the JFK SNO event. If you are an ascriber, you, uh, you get two tickets every time you type exclamation point November. So. Um, you must be a follower to be in the drawing. Um, and, uh, yeah, best of luck. Appreciate the support, and thanks for playing. And good luck. I hope uh, hope you're a winner. I can give you a, an X-Plane gift card. I can give you a... I can pretty much give you whatever you need. At one point, one of the people was hoping to get, like, a gift card to their local plumbers. And I'm like, you know what? We'll figure it out. Saturday, you're in, buddy. Very good. Very good. All right, we're, we're within. We're about uh, 16 or 15. Let's make a call. At Galveston Tower, November 11816. Right, 15 miles to the uh, southeast inbound at 1,000. No problem. Let me know if you need anything else. Got one lined up. November 11816, Galveston Tower. Good afternoon. Yeah, Galveston he's timed. I was waiting for that to eventually glitch out. I had a feeling it would. Can only sit down uh, on the ground for so long before must fuss is like, eh, it's too long. All right, hang on for a second here. I'm sorry, had uh, had some other radio uh, traffic there. Can you uh, confirm uh, left downwind runway one four? Right traffic runway one four. Report on the right downwind. 
Okay, right traffic, and uh, we'll call the right downwind, 11816. All right, baby. Let's do this here. Um, let's go there. And again, nothing in sight quite yet. We're just a hair low. Had to mute the, uh, the the Discord there so I could hear my radio call. Altimeter, he said, was 29 or 9 or 8. Let's make sure we have that updated. Okay. I think we're good. I think we are good. Yep, we're coming up on it, guys, that's for sure. That's kind of a main city that we should see here, and it's just on this near side of the city. We're gonna as soon as we see it, we're gonna hang a right and I'm gonna start to pull back on power here. See if I can get my speed under control. What do we need here for? Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ref out here somewhere close to about 60, 70 ish, 60 ish, if I remember right. Why we slow down fast, don't we? Holy cow! We don't need to slow down quite that fast. Here's where it's tough to not have my my Bravo. I could probably keep it pretty close to full speed, honestly. It slows down fast. I forgot how fast it slows down with all with the uh, with the wheels out. And it really slows down quick when you uh, have the cargo pod out. Holy moly! Acro nerd, you got your ticket, brother. Thank you, Josh, for playing. Hope your flight's going well. Acro nerd is uh, back there in the DC three. In case you guys are wondering, he's kind of been rocking that uh, DC-3 slash C-47 here this weekend. Cool to see. All right. Again, if, we, uh, if we're able to get down successfully on 1-4, we're going to try to hang a left on Delta, which is the first taxiway. So we're going to really hit... Really hit the... Uh, Hit the brakes hard, hit that beta hard, and does it slows down? It it stops on a dime. It is a bush plane in every sense of the word. Luxury bush plane. Okay, I kind of think I'm seeing it. Just it's just past this lake. So I think this I'm seeing some of the buildings up here. Yep. Nice area. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to come down here. A lot of beach. Just amazing. Just uh, miles and miles and miles of beach. Really something. Yeah, that's looking definitely suspiciously airport-ish. <laughs> suspiciously airstrippy. If I pull back on my Bravo, I'm going to go to idle, which... I guess we'll see what that does to me. I get on the downwind and I think I'll do that, try to get to flaps range, and I go from there. Yep, there's our airport. Make our turn, get on the downwind. I 
the Kodiak 816 is on the right downwind runway 14. Kodiak 816, runway 14, clear to land, wind 090 at 10. 14, clear to land, Kodiak 816. Okay, let's see if we can see where we're at. We're in pretty good shape. Information Howdy. <laughs> I did not get the word that it's Information Howdy. All right, we're in flaps range. Let's put one out here. And... Start the uh, start of the descent maybe just a little early here, guys. Fighting my throttles here, guys. It's really, it's really not uh, not working so well. Okay, turning on that base. Our runway. That's our boy right there. Heading on to the final. Trying to make that first taxiway. That would be interesting. Move up, get a little quick here. Bunch of flaps coming in. Ooh, that was not a good round out. Not good at all. Boy, I'm fighting a little bit of a crosswind here, guys. All right, we're coming down, though. We have to get it kicked out. We're a bit quick. I don't think we're going to make this first taxiway, unfortunately. No, we're not. There. Darn it. Not quite. Not quite. Alright, well, we'll just head on down here. Oh boy, it is windy. Holy moly. It is windy, windy, windy. Alpha Tower, Goody 624, Kilo Papa, turn to midfield down with 1 4. Goody 624, Kilo Papa, Galveston Tower, runway 1 4, clear to land. Let's see, I want to go past this. Clear to land 1 4, Goody 624, Kilo Papa, thanks. We'll take this uh, here at Charlie. All right, uh, left on 1-8 and right on Charlie over to ground, Kodiak 816. Hey, boy. Yeah, I <laughs> I did a little did a little bit of work there. Okay, ground. I didn't realize we had ground. Oh, man. And a tower. I'm not seeing ground frequency. Are we point niner? It should be on 118.62. 1862. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't see the ATIS either. That ground, hello. Kodiak uh, 11816 is uh, clear 14 on Charlie. Kodiak 11816, Galveston ground. Good morning, taxi to parking. Good Bravo, good night. Bravo to parking, uh, Kodiak 816. Now, um... I'm really going to have to get my controls sorted out here. That's going to drive me nuts. <coughs> oh, pardon me. There's a little FBO. About halfway down. This is a gateway scenery, but it's an updated gateway scenery. And it actually does look quite nice. It's got some uh, new markings on it. They've done some things here, like on the, on the uh, terminal with these white concrete patches.
updated some hangers. Done a nice job with it, honestly. The one thing that X-Plane I still think is better than uh, Microsoft Flight Sim is in their default airports. They they do use uh, buildings that are. Um, whoops. That are much more representative of the actual, actual thing. What is that? Oh, that's one of those uh, compasses. All right, we're just gonna come in here. Oh, we're in the helipad area. Let's not park where the helicopters park. Crud. Where can I go here? Watch out, baggage cart, dude. We'll take this little white patch. This will be good. All right, there will be fine. And let's get the brakes. Those are set, and let's start turning things off. that spin down a little bit let's not over torque the uh, the engine as I'm shutting down that would not be good that would not be good at all all right well welcome everybody to Galveston and again, like I said, it's uh, the, you know, it's it's default, right? It's it's gateway, I should say. It's gateway stuff. So, you know, they, they're limited in the library items they use. But I was actually really impressed that the guy that went in and, like, these are all just little cement patches that they've done over the, over the course of the, you know, the years. And he put a nice parking lot in and things like that. I don't think that's part of X America. Um, you know, it took the took some of the old taxiways out and things like that updated some some stuff like that so uh, kind of a cool little little default if you if you're into gateway airports you know what the heck um yeah the the braking sounds eric on this plane are a, maybe a little exaggerated there but uh sounder says that the a lot of the default airports look good nice nice <laughs> what have you the break <laughs> uh, thank you Rob Bakery always take care of me Kodiak Kodiak uh, extended life uh, brake lining kit yeah I did need that I did need that um, <laughs> 86692 I wonder how much that goes for I can't even imagine what those go for what I, I mean hundreds of dollars probably i don't even know i don't even know the black steel disc brakes are probably a grand each yeah good stuff there rob good stuff there oh you all right buddy you okay dude iowa scotsman has also not been disappointed well that's encouraging you guys i've been pretty pretty crusty and pretty grumpy about scenery but uh Beaver's got an itch now. Oh, hey, let's do this. Um, let's let's figure out what is going on here with that. All right, so if I reverse that axis. So first of all, I think part of the, yeah, like everything else seems to be working fine. Good, good. All right, so, but what happened here? Like I should be able to, oh, well, now it seems to be working. I don't, I have no idea, you guys. Can I go into beta range? That's what I can't do. Idle and then beta. It's not, not taking me to beta. All right. What do I have to do to get to beta? Beta, beta, beta. 
hold thrust reverse at max. That's what it's supposed to do. Now right, I'm going to just fire it up again while we're waiting here. If you guys are okay with that. Just out of curiosity. Let's see what happens here. The conga line does look good, doesn't it? That's awesome. I'm so happy for uh, for Mike. I know he's really been promoting this kind of stuff, and that's that's wonderful to see. You just on a Sunday, man. You just never quite know. Look at that. That looks great, doesn't it? There's old Rock Valkyrie in his uh, Baron. There's Smitty coming in the Skyhawk. Super nice. That looks great. That looks so great. What is Galveston reporting for uh, planes coming in here? Arrivals 31? That, it looks like 31 or somewhere close to it is going to be the number. Look at that pattern. That was uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I don't... I don't it, well, we could look at the replay also, but let me let me fire this up. Let's see what's uh, let's see what's cooking here. All right, starter can come off, ignition can come off, ox pump can come off. We'll just turn everything on like I had before. Okay, now, all right, that's working. Back down to idle. Now, do we go into beta? Like a champ. I have no idea why that wasn't working, you guys. That is really bizarre. That is really, really bizarre. I might have to take this baby up into the uh, up into the high country and do some flying. I don't know. Let's see. Iowa Scotsman. I've got to get set up for a practice race. Oh, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're trying to work on your VR stuff. Gotcha. Good luck in your race, dude. Let me know how that goes. I know you've been doing that for quite a while, so... And uh, Eric is is thinking about flying himself. <laughs> let's do this. Let's uh, well, real quickly. Let's let's do a replay mode and see how this crosswind landing looked. I think I I think I maybe uh, made it seem worse than it was, but man, I was I really felt like I was fighting it coming in. there. It was, a, it was a real thing. I mean, that was a little off-center, but see how well I did getting the uh, upwind wheel down and getting straightened out. Oh, that was pretty good. That's pretty good for me. Good job. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Kept it more or less on the center line. Did a little drifting, but shoot, I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. Twice on Sunday. Got it. Passenger view here. Cody, you're all right, dude. You're all right, buddy. It's time for him to eat. That's what he's telling me. I mean, every every landing sounds bad at this point, just because the landing sounds are kind of that way. It's like the Airfoil Labs uh, 172. Sounds like you're breaking something, no matter how. How well you do. Let's see what the tower view thought. Hey, buddy. How are you? How are you? Aeroflyer, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And I, I thank all of you guys for, uh, for coming along.
It was fun to fly with you. Yeah, that looked halfway decent. Thanks for watching my papa. I'm going to start to close up shop here and I will reconnect to uh, ATC though or to, to X Pilot so I can watch the rest of the guys coming in. And I'm going to jump over. Uh, I want to take you over to, to our main man JPC here in just a second. But before I do that, I do want to say thank you to everybody again who stopped by. And we had a nice group today Aeroflyer, Pentagon, Iowa Scotsman, Beaver, 524 Echo Alpha. Uh, Sounder was here as well. Rob Valkyrie, Iowa Scotsman, Acro Nerd, uh, Steve PHL. Let's see who else was here. Um, Agent Presta was here as well. And I hope I don't miss anybody, but uh, thank you guys all so very much for stopping by and spending time as always. Um, if you haven't already, last chance to get some tickets for this month's uh, upcoming giveaway just type exclamation point november and i'll make sure you get your tickets the drawing will be on the 12th of november you do not need to be present to win but uh, you do need to have yourself a raffle ticket to have a chance here it's a 25 dollar gift card giveaway so uh, if you haven't already uh, exclamation point november and then uh, next time i stream you'll have another chance to uh, to get that raffle ticket or another raffle ticket i should say speaking of next flights uh, I have scheduled the nightmare on Colfax Avenue for next Saturday next Saturday October 23rd I'm gonna have to see how that goes because that is a birthday weekend for both uh, my wife and my mother and so I might be doing a little combination celebration there but if not if I'm able to sneak away I'm gonna be doing that nightmare on Colfax Avenue and uh, hope to see you there there might be something in between. You never know, a midweek deal like I always do. Uh, if I have if I have the stamina <laughs> and the, the opportunity, I might pop in there and do something sometime during the week. Look for the ping, and uh, yeah, you'll know. You'll know when it's time. All right, guys, let's head over to Mr. Jet Pilot Cinnamon. I uh, hope you have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. I'll see you again very, very soon. Take care, all. God bless.